An assisted living facility in Eagle Point is barred from taking in any new residents. The order comes from the Department of Human Services following a routine licensing survey of Brookdale Senior Living, where they found areas of noncompliance that were putting residents at harm. Tonight, the facility says it's taking corrective action, but family members of residents say that should have happened a long time ago. Total quality of everything over there was just terrible. Mindy Jackson's grandmother Darlene was a resident at the assisted living facility in Eagle Point. She was there for a few years before family had enough. You could see her ankles were so swollen and her feet were swollen and you know that's a sign of her not getting up enough or getting her medication that she was supposed to have. But they should have seen signs like that and notified someone. Mindy's story is not the only one like it. DHS says it recently substantiated 11 rule violations and eight abuse allegations against Brookdale Eagle Point in the last two years. Because it's still an ongoing investigation, the agency couldn't provide specifics, but a licensing survey completed last month revealed unpleasant odors, failure to properly monitor diabetic patients, and issues with staffing requirements and training. A spokesperson for Brookdale says it submitted a corrective action plan. In a statement, Brookdale spokesperson says we expect a follow-up state inspection in the future and look forward to welcoming new residents into our community soon. The health and safety of our residents is our top priority. It's amazing. Mindy's grandmother is now in a different facility where she says her health has vastly improved. She'll be 94 this year. But Mindy knows not everyone has the ability to go somewhere else, so she hopes the action by DHS will bring about positive changes for Brookdale. The last part of someone's life should be the best. They need to be taken care of. Those folks need to be, you know, looked after. In addition to halting the admission of any new residents, DHS is requiring staff to undergo various trainings and submit corrective updates every two weeks until all issues have been resolved.